Welcome back to Oma Branch. Yep, shit's gone down. Hey, we're in an amusement park now, though, so it's... It's we're, happy time. We're at the happiest... Yeah, we're at the happiest place in Silent Hill. Lakeside Amusement Park. Everyone's favorite. As, as we go to explore every nook and well, cranny and trash can if, uh, in the amusement park. If, so far, uh, it's not very amusing. Speaking of exploring trash cans, um, the uh, e Evil Within 2 actually that? does have... Or actually does let you oh, rummage through trash cans. Fucking shadow children! And, uh, and look Fucking through stuff. shadow children! And, and there is stuff in the trash cans. And I was actually very amused when I, I saw that you could do that. I was like, ha! Yay. Um, but yeah, so far, not very amusing. Yeah, well, I mean, there's the whole it being, you know, kind of in well, hell. something that's amusing. There's like stars and stuff. Yeah, well, if, if Jamie likes the carousel horses in the, the sewer, she's okay. going to love the next boss fight. Oh? That's creepy as shit. Is it a giant carousel horse? It, it's a boss fight on a carousel. Oh, fun. That's not going to be sick-inducing. Mm, no, not at all. I don't, I don't remember it being disorienting. Like, the, the camera work is actually, like, pretty good for that fight. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. They're rapid-firing the Jamie jumpers now. Mm-hmm. Just, just every little chance we get, we can mess with Jamie, just popping oh, on I, out of nowhere. Do I hear carnival music in the background? Yep. How charming. The well, frame rate just suddenly got really smooth for a second there. The what? Um, the frame rate. Oh. Like, I don't know if it was I, me. Yeah, I noticed it chug uh, like a, a moment second. ago. Yeah. Which I had, I had never seen that before. Maybe I just never walked on that one pixel that causes the frame rate to... To load everything yeah. at once. This is a pretty big area, though, so... Not like there's a lot to really see in it, though. fucking wish oh, yeah, that I obscure. had a map. That'd be great. Jamie's probably already passed the map. And now mm. can no longer get it. No, you're actually in this area for such a short time that they don't even bother giving you a map. Oh, no? Oh, nope. okay. Uh, there, I think there's a couple items that you can pick up that she may or may not have missed. Um, but, and there is a save point um, that she may have missed, but I don't think she did. I think she's good. This, well, and, in fact, when you, I was looking at things, it said that there are no items here. Oh, okay, just a save point. Um, I don't. Well, I don't think it makes any note of save points. So because you actually in Silent Hill Three, you actually re revisit this area. Oh, there's a save point right there. I wonder if they're open. Um, you actually revisit this this same place in Silent Hill 3, and you can actually read the little note that Harry writes at the save point. Oh, really? Because if you notice, the save points are like little notepads. Yeah. So in the third game, you actually find basically Harry's save file as a memo in the game. Just curious, what does it say? Uh, it's basically just him talking about like all the messed up shit that happened, and I think she's going back the wrong way now. She's kind of just going in a big circle. Yeah, I think she just made a big circle. Like, it, she was probably, like, right before... This is a... Did. Yeah, this is a very disorienting place, and she was doing a pretty good job of following the, you know... The main the path edge. where she wanted to be. Yeah, well, you know, you... you in, when you're in a maze or something like that, you know, typically what you want to do is you want to find, like, a wall and just hug it, right, until you can't. Yeah. Well, I remember, like, well, the thing with mazes is, like, you're supposed to hug the, the right wall or whatever, and that'll eventually get you out faster, supposedly. Well, I don't know about necessarily faster, but I think it, it, guaran it guarantees that you will not just go around in circles. Unless the maze, like, literally is just a Big square. Big circle. In which case, it's not much of a maze. Um, but yeah, in, in Silent Hill 3, you find Harry's save file as a memo in the game, and it talks, it's, you know, he talks about, you know, how he's looking for his daughter, and these crazy cultists are... Ruining everything. Oh, yeah. fuck you. And here she's going out of her way to, to kill stuff. Kill a child. Like, totally doesn't need to get on that Ferris wheel, but, you Fuck know. you in the face! Whatever. Well, she, it, I, I think, think it's just more concerned with stopping the there's an enemy nearby sound. Yeah, well, and I think there's also a degree of catharsis. I, I, I think she enjoys smacking them with the giant hammer. Probably. I mean, he, he it did... It is Jamie, hammer? after all. He did go flying. And that had to be satisfying. Mm-hmm. And it, is, and it is a thing that Jamie does seem to like, is beating things up with hammers. 
Mm -hmm, yes. At least in video games. Yeah, I feel bad for John. Oh, I don't. I don't think that translates into real life much. <laughs> um. Oh, so I was asking between episodes. The the girl that causes Carrie to crash his car, though. Yes, uh, Alessa. Alessa. What is her deal? Like you said that she sort of has like a story with the other mm. games too. Mm -hmm. Well, um. Basically, she's the catalyst for everything that's going on in in the games. So she's a very important part of the series. Like she's at the know, center more. of like the cultists, or yeah. Well, the the cult is using her to birth their god. And you're, we're gonna oh, learn all of this stuff, like basically in the next minutes. you know few minutes. Well, not oh. in the next minute, but but we're, you know all that stuff is is about to be revealed because we are now at pretty much the very end of the like game. This fucking lighthouse. Mmm, ice cream. Demon, demon ice cream. Demon ice cream. Um, really but yeah, good. like basically, they're using Alessa uh, as um, a womb mm. to, to birth Satan. That's kind of messed up. Yeah, kind of. Um, uh, or at least, or at least that's what they wanted to do, and now they have to use uh, use Cheryl. It's a, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but I'm I'm trying not to spoil too much. Yeah. Um, you know, both because I don't want to spoil it all for you, and also, you know, in if the off Jamie chance that, that Jamie here. hears. Yeah. Um, I feel like she's, like, right near where she needs yeah, to be. Yeah, you know, she is. It's just she's got to find the the one door that she needs to go through, and I think she keeps, like... Going in circles. I think she keeps cutting across something and, and then missing where she's supposed to go, so... Because I feel like it I was, think, like, you know, I think she's on safe the, point, like, right there. Yeah, I think she's on the right path now. She well, should be She of. should be good. Maybe. Yep, she's at the right place. I'm she gonna found guess it. that the carousel horses were, like, a fucking hint. I mean, it could be. They, they were. Oh my gosh, she's about to get to a boss fight and she doesn't have any ammo. <laughs> Good. And this luck. is this is judgment. Did she push a button and skip the cutscene? No, she didn't. It's a pre-rendered cinematic. Um, so this is this is judgment point. This is mm. where she do determines. the thing or not. Yeah. So let's see if she does the thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she was in a wheelchair. Ooh, dun scary. dun dun. Why, why are you acting all demon-y, Sybil? All zombie-y. She's going all gangsta. You know she's serious. She turned her gun sideways. Oh, damn it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the way that that happened. <laughs> That was funny. Just Don't spray bottles at me. Bam! Um, I don't want to kill her. <laughs> Do I? I really don't want to kill her. Like, she's acting all cray cray. I don't know, Jamie. Maybe use the VHS tape on her. <laughs> maybe she won't smack you for that. Shove a cassette tape up her butt. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I remember the last friend that I had that, that played this game with me uh, had the same problem where she couldn't trigger the, the bottle working on Sybil. Is it like you have to do it like a Damn, certain way? Damn, she hit hard! Um, I don't know, maybe you have to get behind her to do it? I don't, I don't know, but... Ow! He just got shot. Now Harry's just dead. It's a little bit of an odd time to be worrying about whether you have yeah. the map or not to this place, Harry. You're kind of um, like bleeding, bleeding profusely. Hope, hopefully she tries using the bottle again. Well, possibly. Like, like if she actually does figure that that's the thing to do. Come on. It is a little quiet, but let me... I don't want to kill you, lady! It worked that time? Why did that work that time? Neat. Did I have to injure her so it got uh, 
got in her bloodstream or some shit? I mean, that's possible. I, I, it's like I said, I, I remember the Is last time. Is she fucking a robot? There's steam coming. Oh, ew. 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 That's nasty. <laughs> Kill it. It's a monster. Kill it. You just saw that curb stop and instinct. That shit was nasty. You know what that reminds me of? The fucking ear crawlers from Wrath of Khan. Except, like, a lot bigger. Not towards the end, mate. That thing was a lot bigger than an ear crawler. Um, so, yay. Uh, Gooder. Jamie saved Sybil, and she triggered, is going to be triggering the best ending in the game. Yay. And I so, wonder how much of that is so, from accidentally overhearing us or not. I, I certainly hope that that, that didn't play into it. But, um, uh, I always I liked Harry, um, because I've always thought of him as being a very upstanding like role model figure in we in video games because you know in highway. in video games father figures aren't very there aren't very many positive role model father figures right in video well, games my dad did this therefore i'm doing this now yeah yeah it, it's a lot of you know neglectful absentee parents and you know parents dying in some tragedy and and stuff like that and you know parents secretly being the villain in the the plot twist empire strikes back wannabe ending um, there aren't very many games where there's a parent that that sticks around, you know, with the the younger character, let alone a father figure. So I always loved that that this game did that. That you know, Harry is a devoted dad, and um, and if you kill Sybil, you don't get this cutscene. So you do not learn that Cheryl was actually adopted. You go through the whole game assuming that she's just his biological daughter. <clears throat> so, you know, I, I always liked Harry before, but, um, the, you know, a few years ago I started, you know, dating my, my girlfriend and she has a, a kid from a previous relationship. Right. So, you know, now if I... Melissa and Cheryl look so much alike, are they maybe twins? So, um, you know, so I have a, a proxy daughter too. Uh, she's not, I haven't adopted her yet. You know, we're not married. I, we haven't, you know, I, I haven't, far. yeah, ha not at that point yet, but... You know, for all intents and purposes, my you know, I think of my girlfriend's kid as as you know my daughter. So, I now respect and appreciate Harry, even more. you know, as an adopted father, even more than I did before. And I I, I really liked him before. Um, so that's another bit of important backstory that you don't get if you uh, if you don't save Sybil. But you do get this part. Aliens. You do get this part. Yeah, basically Sybil is dead, and it, if I power, if I remember correctly, it's like you know Harry just falls down on his knees and is like, "Why?" Why? And then this happens anyway. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and um, I mean, basically, the only difference in the endings now is in the regular good ending, you beat the final boss and you know Where's escape, Cheryl? run away, um, and. And that's it. Uh, in the in the good plus ending that Jamie has now triggered, uh, you, get some other stuff. you you know it's just now Sybil's going to be there too. Yay! <clears throat> so Sybil gets away. We meet at first. <clears throat> oh! Where is Crazy Duck Lady Lips is actually the demon. But yeah, everybody that I've played this game with. Mm -hmm. And including myself, their first reaction is, I want to save Sybil. I don't want to kill her. Right. There's got to be something that I can do. So my, my first time playing, I don't think I picked up the red liquid. Yeah. But I tried hitting her with the steel pipe in the ho instead of shooting her in the face with a shotgun. In the hopes in that the hopes it would that, knock something out of her. Right, in the hopes that I could like knock her out instead of killing her. You know, and, and you know stuff like that. The like, just got I a lot I ran around that carousel for probably like twenty minutes, right, trying to, trying to see if there was do. something I could do to not have to kill her. And I I don't remember for sure whether or not I had the Agleophotus in my first playthrough and whether or not I used it on her. Um, I don't think I did, but I don't remember for sure because it was you know so many years ago. Yeah. Um. But, you know, I just, I never thought that it was that much of a stretch, right? That yeah. if that's in your inventory, and you you just saw Jamie. Kaufman's reaction yeah. to the bottle in the motorcycle, mm -hmm. 
you know. And you figure that's so, got to be so. You figure important. that's important, right? And then, and then a few minutes later, you find this character who's been What's like possessed on? by a demon, and you, you know, that might be like, hey, maybe that's why this is so important to Kaufman because he doesn't want to get possessed Did by I, a demon. He doesn't want to get demonized. Did I just help right. murder a little girl? Maybe. Um. But yeah, I think Jamie did definitely fig probably figure that out on her own. That, um, because, like, it has to be that. You know, J Jamie, right. Jamie's it, it, very intuitive like that. Yeah, like, if, if you're going to save Sybil, it's either going to be the flower roast or the red uh, liquid. Yeah. The fuck? Lisa. And then what we're back happened? here with this girl. Where's Alessa and Dahlia? But yeah, everybody I've played with, like their first reaction is is very similar to Jamie's here. I don't want to kill her. Just can't get it out of my head. And it's just a matter of whether or not you have the item in your inventory. It's in your head. Although apparently there's, you know, I, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but you know, the last time I I, had, you know, I was watching someone play through this game, you know, that person had the same issue where they tried, she tried to use it, and it didn't work the first time, and then just gave up using it. Uh, I she I, I eventually. Like she she shot her a couple times, um, and like eventually I was like I was like well maybe you should try the red bottle again, right? And and she did it because I was like well she tried it right yeah. she figured it out for whatever reason it didn't work like I threw her a bone in that you, case because she wasn't like in the right position yeah I don't know maybe you're not standing in the in the right pixel maybe you do maybe have you to do damage have her damage maybe her. there's like a maybe there's like a buffer period right where like maybe you can't do it for like the first sixty seconds or whatever I don't I don't know the exact details of how it works. Um, kind of makes me do want to watch the uh, speedrun of this game because the people that do speedrun it do no. like, yeah. will tell you like all that information <clears throat> like this is why this this is why this is right. this Where and they might know going? that wherever the hell I want you don't control me mm -mm. I just want to know who the hell Lisa exactly is Um, well, you know what? I am saving again. Do we want to keep going, or should this be a... Should we visit... Um, wonderful Nowhere oh, next cool. time on the branch? No, we're Nowhere. Um, let's, let's do Nowhere next time on the branch, because then that can probably end up being like finale-ish, uh, sort of. Because like, this is sort of like end-ish. Maybe. Maybe? I, 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 we might have another two episodes worth, but... Soon. We're, Soon. We're, we're, we're towards the end. So let's, let's cut here. Yeah. Next time. Bye.